Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, January 27th. I slept good last night, but I went to bed late. I was watching the crime channel. I enjoy um, drama and crime and some love stories when I watch TV. And I was up at 7.30. I took a nice long shower, washed my hair, and I'm wearing fresh clean clothes and I got my favorite camouflage skirt on. I'm happy today. So I decided that after I took a shower, that after I get dressed and get ready, I was gonna come to my job here and pick a cup a couple of squeegees. Since I've been living here, I've been wanting to get some squeegees for my tile walls in the bathroom when I when I bathe or when I take a shower. Instead of using a sponge. Yeah. So I got that now and I'm gonna go back home, bring them home, and I got some suction cups with hooks on them to hang them in my shower walls. So I'm gonna go back home. I'm not feeling hungry. I haven't had anything to eat today. All I've had was a cup of coffee and one bottled water. Yes, we discussed that yesterday. The bottled water cleanses my system and rids it of the caffeine. Yes, it does. So anyways, before I continue any further, I wanna say thank you so much, so much to my subscribers. And I also wanna thank my new subscribers. And uh, I appreciate your subscriptions and give me your thum thumbs up, your likes and your shares. And uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon. I'm not suggesting anything so complicated. It's a beautiful day guys it's sunny out yes some patchy gray skies here and there but the temperature right now at 11 38 a.m is 79 degrees okay 79 degrees i got my windows on a little bit i don't have my ac on i should have it on because it's getting warm so let's talk about why I'm making a video today. Last night when I was watching my favorite drama, action, crime, uh, reality show, I shut the TV off and these thoughts started pouring in. It's when thoughts pour in that I create content for my channel. I don't write a script. I don't plan what I'm gonna talk about days in advance. 90% of the time, these are thoughts that are streamed down to my mind and my heart from the universe. How else can I explain it? I don't know, but if I was to guess, these were sent down from the universe and then I share them. So what was the thought that's gonna be a content for my video today? Well, it's like this. It's got to do with self-image. How you have a self-image of yourself is how people are going to see you as. Despite what you look like. Now, if you're a positive person, if you're the kind of person that looks within and you separate your 
inner self and your exterior self, that tells me that you're a strong person. But I did say self-image. Yeah, your self-image begins on the, out, on the inside. And it's supposed to reflect on the outside. Is it fair to say that if someone is, is talking to you or is walking by you and they look at you, in this world where everything is so visual, they're gonna judge you on how you look like on the outside. This is a very tricky, tricky conversation I'm gonna have with you guys because self-image means different things to a lot of people around the world. And the reason why I say around the world is, if you take someone from the Western world and you put them, let's say in India, for example, where a lot of old fashioned Hindu people from India are very connected to their inner self. I don't know what to say about the new generation in India, but a lot of the old generation Indians, Indian people are very self-connected internally. And it's this connection internally is what defines them, okay? They're very connected to their traditions. So therefore, I'm not saying they don't pay attention to the external self, but they do. There's so many different levels. Let's take, for example, a middle-aged, um, traditional Hindu person who's very family-oriented and tied to their heavy belief system. They're very strong people and they're very internal. What they think they are and how they think will reflect on the outside. Very professional, very religious, and very respectable, okay? They're kind people, they're loving people, but they know how to separate the material and the non-material people, okay? If they were to come to the Western world to live, it would not change to your customs or maybe my customs. Okay. It's that level of self-perception that I'm talking about. It doesn't matter what religion and what your tradition is. How you see yourself on the inside is how it's going to be on the outside. Okay. Um, if you want people to respect you, and people who are respectable, I'm going to judge you and how you look on the outside. They may look at you and to see how you're dressed. Okay? And it's good to have a strong self-image. Okay? Um, I can't talk for the new generation. The, 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 new, the new generations have really changed, but they are also in themselves very strong generation. They really don't care what people think of what they're seen as on the outside. country when you're judged externally it also applies uh, into intellectually okay so we're already living in a in a society where people that are better dressed better equipped financially and are more attractive usually do 
much better than those people who appear to have a self, uh, a low self image, okay? And when they see someone with a low self image, they may interpret that as somebody with low self esteem too. I don't know. I truly feel that an intelligent person, regardless of how they look like on the outside or convey how they are on the inside, will come across to anyone despite how they look like or how people think they feel like or interpret their inner self. Most people might not be receptive or picking up on people's true selves, inner true selves. Um, but if you're paying close attention to someone when, they, when they're involved in a debate, you can probably tell who is a stronger person. A stronger person is not going to uh, lose their self-identity over a conversation that, that they do not agree with. A person who, is, who has a strong inner self-identity doesn't have to overpower anybody physically, okay? And a very positive strong individual does not have to prove anything to anyone. They don't have to wear um, a Rolex watch or drive in a fancy car to feel that they're important. We are all important and we all have something to contribute and we have opinions just as someone who is in a higher position job. That person in the high position job may know a lot and may be very educated on what he knows about his career or his position, but on a lower human uh, level, we're all equal. We're all equal, okay? You could be walking down the street and meet a drunk who has been down on their luck most of their lives and has totally given up. He might have something important to tell you. Would you pass him up just because he's down on his luck? He's not shaven and over five months and he, he he smells and he's dirty we don't know where that individual came from we don't know what his life was really like before he became that way this also plays on the notion why I'm getting the word respect tied the tattoo on my forearm. I don't have to have a tattoo on my forearm to give or receive respect. Okay? Sometimes we have to recognize society for what they are. There's a lot of ignorance in society. Alright? When it comes to um, image and perception from other people people will judge you on how you present yourself or how you look there's a category for every for every facet of life okay some people in the LGBT community have a very high self-image of themselves. 
they're very 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 strong people they're not gonna change who they are just so they can fit in okay as someone who have a real strong self perception or self image for example about a week ago I received to me what was a negative mail from someone it happened to be the Jehovah Witness just because I don't approve of them doesn't mean that the people who sent me the letter is going to uh, self-reflect and see whether they were wrong or right to do that they don't care they're gonna keep marching forward on what they believe in and they're gonna to continue to send people letters and notices regardless in sales we have this saying you have to get a hundred no's before you get 10 yeses or 10 no's before you get one yes so that's the same belief that the Jehovah Witness and other religious people might have too except other religious people are not going to harass you belittle you like some religions some don't care they just want to coexist okay Self-image means different things to different people. When I was younger, and still to this day, I would never leave home unless my hair is combed. I never leave home if my eyebrows do not look equal or look trim. I cannot let my hair grow to a certain length because I'm trying to have a particular self-image. I will not leave home knowing that I don't look clean or present well. These are external self images to me eternal uh, external self images is important to me they 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 let people know a lot about myself when i went to a therapist years ago they gave me a clean bill of health because i presented according to age and time I presented well okay I wasn't over the top in how I presented myself you know what my take is in the whole of this conversation is respect if you respect everyone you shouldn't have issues whether they um, they have a good self-image or a bad self-image. If if they're at peace with themselves internally, then they'll be at peace with themselves externally, despite how they look on the outside. Okay, despite. How they look like on the outside just remember that if they're at peace internally and they know who they are okay then it will shine outwardly if you're walking with a bad crowd then you should know better if you know you're with good people you should know better 
either way, we shouldn't judge. But we live in a society that does. I made it my mission in life to, to get along with everyone. Because life wasn't meant to be perfect. Humans, including myself, I'm a human, we have flaws. And if we can understand that universally we're all connected, then we shouldn't be focusing on any one individual to see or decide whether they're one of us or not. <laughs> That's my conversation for today. The reason of this conversation was because I notice when I go out sometimes, people seem to be looking at me from head to toes. It's like, give me a break. I'm walking upright. I'm not walking on all my fours. I'm not a dog or a cat. Even dogs, cats or animals have respect. Okay? My, uh, years ago, I made a video that said, when I'm out in public or society in general, I don't like staring at other women or men. I don't do double takes on people. I just don't. Because I understand how the universe works. We are all linked and tied together. It has nothing to do with your race. It has nothing to do with your gender. It has nothing to do with your sexual orientation. We're just humans. As long as we're alive in this planet right now, then we're all equal. We're all the same. All right? Because when we leave this material world, you'll see for yourself. Because nothing that we stand here for makes any sense there, that place, where we're truly from. <laughs>